hello guys today we will see how how to hide PHP code in JPEG files and uh, other JavaScript and other codes in uh, other files so uh, what are polycodes polycodes in a security context are uh, files that are valid from multiple different file types for example a GIF AR is both a GIF and RAR file. Uh, there are also files out there that can be both GIF and GS, both PPT and GS etc. Polyglot files are often used to bypass production based on file types. Many applications that allow users to upload files on uh, only allow uploads for, for certain types uh, such as JPEG, JF, DOC so as to prevent users from uploading potentially dangerous files like js php uh, or far files one example of polyglot files is a far jpeg file far files are used to carry out php object injection attacks this type of attack can lead to rce however it requires the attacker to, uh, to be able to upload a readable FAR file and FAR files are not often allowed by file upload functions. <coughs> so FAR JPEG file allows the malicious upload to look like a harmless JPEG file to upload to bypass upload res restrictions but still remain the capability of FAR file file format specification first it is important to understand that different file types are simply chunks of bytes that follow a predefined structure for archive format for example let's look at for php archive format for a far file to to be valid It needs to follow a certain structure. It contains a stop selection, a manifest section, and finally a file content section. Stub. The stub is a chunk of PHP code which is executed when the file is accessed in an executable context. At a minimum, the stub must contain hard compiler at its conclusion otherwise there are no restrictions on the contents of the far stub manifest this section contains metadata about the archive and its contents file contents thus this section contains actual far files in the archive signature the for verifying archive integrity jpeg format a header of a jpeg image looks like jpeg file start with a st uh, start of image sy marker which contains the byte ffd8 the application marker app0 contains the byte ffe0 the length field is the size of image the identifier field contains jfif with trailing null byte the version field specifies the jfif specification version the file and finally jpeg files are uh, and with the end of image EOI marker. So how do polyglots work? So how exactly do polyglots fool the application that process them? How does a far JPEG appear as an image to an image processor and file upload security checker yet still be able to upload uh, to be used as a far file? To understand why polyglots are possible, we have a we have to look at how application detect file types. 
how to application determine file types and an application can utilize several ways to, of checking the file type of a file by looking at the file extension by looking for specific magic byte and by validating certain file signatures extension based detection uh, means when extension of a uh, of a file is something that then they think that uh, the file is uh, of that type but it's not necessary that uh, that a file must have the extension which uh, which it uh, which it contains um, or which it can execute and then there are magic bytes detection for some file types there are magic bytes and at the start of the file that indicate that the file is of certain format file uh, some forms of file type detection make use of this information some of these examples are jpeg file begins with ff d8 and end with ffd9 pdf file start with uh, percent pdf hex 25 50 and 44 60 46 file signature validation and there is third type by which Still, some more sophisticated validation will perform checks based on specific signatures of the file. For example, they might check if a JPEG file contains all the necessary header fields. How polyglots become two files? Polyglots become polyglots when they pass all the validation uh, validation checks uh, for more than one type, file type to an application that is looking for image files it bears all the signatures of an image file to another application that is looking for different indicators it becomes um, becomes something else and checks all the pipe boxes as well for a far jpeg file it has to pass all the jpeg validity checks which it is uploaded then still be used as a PHP archive when the attacker calls it to the start a PHP object injection attack constructing a far JPEG file a far JPEG file is possible due to the flexibility in the far firmware specification especially uh, specifically there are more restrictions to the stop section of a file besides that it must end with underscore, underscore heart underscore compiler. This means that the stop section of the file can be used to inject dummy data in order to disguise the file as a JPEG. Let's say we inject a valid JPEG file image in the stop section of the file before underscore hard compiler now the file looks something like to an image processor the file is jpeg image because it contains all the signature of a valid jpeg file uh, a start of image marker headers and an end of the image marker most image processors will stop processing the file at this point and will not look beyond the jpeg um, but when used with a far stream wrapper far um, the file seems like something entirely different and uh, it looks like a file with a valid stop section a valid manifest and some files in the content section therefore when operating on the file php still performs an uh, unshared lies operation on the far files metadata the attacker thus archive achieve rce through a successful php object injection is not that super cool trying this on systems where you do not have permissions to test is illegal you guys can uh, hire us on fiverr and if you like what we do you can support us on 
Patreon.